Diamond City is divided between people living on the former baseball field, now known as the lower fields, and those residing above in the stadium seating stands, now known as the upper stands. The former comprise the city's laborers, craftsmen, farmers, and other workers, while the latter are caravan owners, merchants, and other individuals who control the lion's share of the city's wealth. McDonough exploited this divide and favored the city's elite, who may have wanted the ghouls gone merely to improve their view. Diamond City is the only settlement in the Commonwealth that guarantees a free education to all children, regardless of their social or financial status. It also hosts a non-denominational chapel open to all religious adherents, giving them a quiet, safe space to pray and worship. Power is provided by a fusion generator tower in the heart of the city's market, giving its denizens access to cheap electricity. The irony of nuclear power first destroying the world and then giving Diamond City its main advantage is not lost on the more scientifically inclined members of the community. Food is provided to the city by independent farms across the Commonwealth, such as Abernathy Farm. However, a much larger supplier is the Codman family, who own both the orchard within the walls and the Codman family farms, which provide Brahmin meat to choice chops. The community of Diamond City tolerates synths living within as long as they serve the community, allowing Nick Valentine to even run his own public detective agency. Nick gained the residence's respect by saving the daughter of the city's former mayor, Henry Roberts, when she ran away with a caravan trader. Despite this and some residents respecting Nick, some other residents are shown to be scornful of synths, not wishing to affiliate with them.